do you think is the biggest challenge facing the OPA over the next year? Well, it's the um, continuing, uh, I think it's going to be money that's going to be an issue for uh, continuing to fund the microfit contracts because they're the reviews are going to keep lowering the contract rate. One more so, is to fund the microfit. Yeah, that's their main, for me, that's what I see as their main challenge. To be able to rationalize continuing the funding for these contracts. Rationalizing the continuing of the funding for, whoops, for the yeah, because solar energy is still a new, it's, you know, we don't know how much these, these systems can generate in terms of electricity. It's still in the, the initial stages. We don't have enough information from the meters to determine whether it is uh, worth the money that's going into it. So, but I'm, 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 I'm reading up on how much sun is shining in Ontario and I'm, and I'm hoping that it is worth all that money because uh, that's really the best way to rationalize it's, you know, the contracts is that it will generate electricity in that amount. And thinking about the Ontario Power Authority or the OPA, do you strongly agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree or strongly disagree that the OPA is credible in what it says about electricity in the province. Oh yeah, I think it's credible. It's kind of idealistic, but it's also credible because I've read that um, <clears throat> based on the consumption of average household, you would need a, about a 10 kilowatt system in Ontario to, to be able to, to have that much um, electricity for all the appliances in an average house in Ontario. So I think it's, at this point, from what I've read, although I don't see, I haven't seen all the meter readings or anyone, you know, I mean, like, I think they're credible enough that they must have researched this before bring, inviting the foreign companies to come in. I hear you. And so would you say that you strongly agree or somewhat agree oh, that the OPA is credible in what it says about electricity in the province? I think it's strongly agreed. I'm sure they must have researched it and I hope I hope it is true because at this point in time until more people who bought the systems publish the, the, the generation rates versus the consumption rates of a household, see that's really what it is. Ideally, the generation of electricity will be more than the consumption rate. But from what I've read so far, um, it's about equal if you have a 10 kilowatt system. And how about this one? The OPA is showing leadership on issues associated with electricity in the province. Oh, definitely strongly agree. The OPA is trusted to do what is in the best interests of Ontarians. Oh, I think st strongly agree. They're idealistic, but it might actually, in the long term, be a, a practical long term investment. These, it's it's kind of at this point in time, the, you w we would need to get more technical, practical information on the solar and the wind projects, how much electricity is being generated. But I think at this point, yeah, I would say. Uh, strongly agree that they, they must have done some research on this. It's not just like, oh, let's fund the system and then there's not enough electricity being generated. I think based on what I see so far, that, that, that they must, they're credible because they did research prior to bringing it in. I hear you. 